Good morning. Welcome to the book of Malachi. We're going to go back to Malachi and work on this. This is near the end of the Old Testament. And we're going to work our way through Malachi. There's just four chapters here, but it's a very interesting book. Actually, let's begin at Malachi 1, verse 1. And all we're going to do today is a little bit of an introduction. And we'll carry right on through the book of Malachi. Verse 1 says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Now, we might say, well, this seems kind of like, why are we worrying about this? This is the end of the Old Testament, not really important, not really interesting. But if you go back to many of our devotionals where we worked on the book of Jeremiah, the book of Lamentations, we see some similar spirit. So the time frame of this is, this is like the last prophet of the Old Testament. Then there's a period of around 400 years of silence, prophetic silence. Then we get John the Baptist and Jesus and, and the New Testament. But this is a very quiet period, and it also has a, a, a parallel not only to Jeremiah, but something back here in the book of Revelation. So I want to start our study of the book of, of Malachi by going to Revelation chapter 3. There are seven churches there, and we, if we think of those in terms of uh, matching sort of time periods in the development of the church. We come down to the last one, and many expositors of the Bible have looked at this and said this Laodicean church period sounds like it, it represents really perhaps the church in your day and mine right here today. So in Revelation 3, I just want to read a little bit from the Laodicean church because I think we're going to see some real interesting parallels back to Malachi. To the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, this is 3.14 and following, right? These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich, white garments that you may be clothed, and the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed. And anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see, and as many as I love I rebuke and chasten, therefore be zealous and repent. And you know the rest of it. Here's a group of believers in the end time who think they have everything they need. They think they're in a spiritually good place. They, they don't see, they're very, they have a, a real big vision issue going on. And when we go back to the book of, of Malachi, uh, Malachi means literally my messenger. And there aren't anybody, there's nobody in the Old Testament named Malachi. I know we sometimes name our children Malachi, but it really stands for my messenger. And, and we don't really know probably the name of this prophet, but we can call him certainly Malachi. He, it says here, the burden of Malachi. He, he is standing up at a time when the people have gone into captivity. They've come back. They're coming back from Babylon now, and they're back, have been back for a while. And yet, even though they have the temple and different things going on, they're really weak spiritually. And so here comes a message from God through Malachi, and it's a strong and hard message. And so Malachi calls it the burden it is the burden, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. So prophets have a burden, and sometimes it's really challenging for them because as soon as you're called to be a prophet, you pretty much know there's going to be a lot of people that are very unhappy with what I'm going to be, what God is going to have me saying. So here comes a very intense word to a people who don't really think they need it, and that's a formula for a certain amount of friction as we'll be seeing. But I think there's a lot for us to, to gather in from this as we are living in an end time setting ourselves. And this was kind of like the end of the Old Testament, then Jesus came. We're living in the time where we're kind of at the end of the New Testament, and then Jesus comes. So some interesting parallels for us. Let's pray together this morning. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be our hearts to be right. We pray that we will hear the message you have for us as we understand the message you gave to Malachi for his time and place. We want to uh, know how we can well and wisely and rightly apply it to our time and place. Help us, Lord, to be uh, thorough in drawing close to you. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today as we begin our new study in the book of Malachi. I'm so glad you're joining me. Be blessed.